Hi, Kathy here from Tweak Town. I'm at Computex 2010. I'm sitting here with Anita from uh, Qualcomm, who's going to introduce to us the uh, new Snapdragon tablets and smartbooks. Anita? Yeah, we're really excited to be here and show a variety of different things. We've got some great devices. This first one is the Dell Streak. It was just announced uh, earlier in the last week, running an Android operating system, runs um, 720p, so some great video. Um, let's see if I can get it up there running. And some pictures, so you can take pictures. This is a five megapixel camera device as well. It actually also makes voice calls. So not only does it let you do um, all the multimedia and all the things you would want to do with the internet and things. What happened? My, there so it, it is. has a voice over IP? No, it's actually got a 3G modem in it. Oh. So it does both voice and data using 3G connectivity. So nice form factor, nice and small, but fits in your hand. You can do yeah. watch movies on it as well as you know do a variety of things. So really excited about this product. It's going to come out on at O2. Mm -hmm. So so here's another device that also runs Android. This is the HP Compact Air Life 100. Nice big 10-inch display. Nice keyboard, so it's comfortable to use. This is also a touch screen, so you can read your email and follow through. So we're actually surfing the web right now. But this also does you know, 720p videos and play games and, and do all kinds of different things on here that you'd like to enjoy and, and connect. Nice and light, thin form factor. And so, you know, the other you know, there's a lot of interest in clamshells, but there's also a lot of interest in, we said, smaller tablets, and now here we are to a larger tablet. This is a, um, a device that we helped design internally, a, a prototype, so it won't go commercial. And looking at tablets coming out, this is a different opportunity with a tablet where this has a virtual keyboard, which has Bluetooth connectivity, so I can connect. And there's a lot of interest in having a keyboard versus a virtual keyboard. This actually has a virtual keyboard as well. So it actually just, you put the piece back in here on the back, slides right in. I just close it. Oops, I'm not doing a very good job at it. With Turn it over, and now I can use it as a tablet. And so this also runs Android, and so I've got a variety of different applications that I can go to the web and surf again and watch videos and listen to music and do all the things that I would want to do. So definitely all these fun, good multimedia entertainment, connectivity, you know, good mobile internet devices in different form factors and sizes and shapes and sizes. Terrific. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>